Hello guys, <coughs> this is Kazra with you another subscriber replay. This one is from Eric, again. Yeah, you're showing off more often than anyone else I think. Um, this time he's in his SC-152-T7 Russian tank destroyer with z with, yeah you can see, 17 gold rounds, 9 HE rounds. No AP. Uh, we're on the map, what is the name? Sacred Valley, Encounter Mode, so the capture is where you can see it. Actually this is the better way to play this map, Encounter I think. Uh, it's a tier 7 game. For at least half of the teams are tier 7s then, tier 6s and 5s and lower tiers. Scouts, mainly. Didn't see this game, so we're gonna watch it together for the first time. I hope it's gonna be really, really enjoyable, because the score was quite actually good. And I'm interested in how Eric will play with this tank, because... This is the tier 7 derp that can do inflict almost 700 average damage and with gold rounds it has 250 millimeters of penetration if I'm correct yep meaning it has more penetration than most tier 8 vehicles and that's almost a tier 10 uh, vehicles penetration it just has a longish reload time and it's completely nowhere near the wall accurate but what don't you do for the trolls? Eric takes a hit at the T-150, inflicting 620 damage. Without getting spotted, of course, because he was shooting through a bush. So first good hit. Now he sports heavy tanks on the original line. Let's look. Can he do something about him? I think he's aiming at the rock. But yeah, it seems that he does. He won't have shots at least for now. At least those got. Oh, the target is advancing. The target is advancing. Yeah, the moment he started turning around and moving around, the the other guy just started moving. So, but uh, Eric is doing a good thing. He's not taking, you know, chance shots. At least not now. Because most people would like the moment you see a uh, tree falling down, you, they would start shooting, which isn't good. So the game is still quite even, five to five. I had this tank and I enjoyed it immensely, but honestly when I researched the top gun for it, the 122mm gun, I used it instead because of the great rate of fire that it has and good penetration and good damage for a tier 7 tank. Instead of the derp, because first of all the derp is tremendously expensive to, to sustain, you know, if you're using gold shells all the time it costs quite a healthy number of credits to play with this. Oh, now he sees eyes, waits for aiming circle, shoots and the shot goes low. You have to give this tank the whole aiming time. It's like the ISO, if you want properly aim you will get trolled 9% out of 10. Uh, 9 times out of 10. <sighs> Sorry guys, a little bit sleepy, I just got woke up and started doing videos. I would actually, I think I would go for AMX instead of this guy. But Eric shoots, kills and falls back. So yeah, the IMX was in a position where I would, I would rather shoot him, but that's mainly because uh, he was already positioned that way. So, like, take a shot on the AMX to force him off and then go against the SC, counting that my teammates can survive long enough. T29. Not a problem. Also, I think that people have to, like, no. Oh god, again. Rush the shot. Uh, I think you have to know with this, this is a gold derp, meaning it fires HE ammo, it fires high explosive gold ammo, anti-tank ammo. It doesn't have to penetrate to inflict damage. Penetration. It will damage even if you will just hit, you know, tracks and stuff like that or the shot will get absorbed. 
It's still a chi. So Eric's sitting on a one kill, two thousand damage. I don't know if he hit. Yep, he hit. The IS is on 500 life, meaning he got hit for around 600, almost 700 damage. No, oh, now this this situation is going dramatically worse for them, to be frankly honest. The enemy team is starting to be more offensive. Ah, uh, he's struggling to get the gun option. Go back, go back. Oh, he spotted something else. <laughs> He's trying to position himself too long. I would take the shots already a few times. Going backwards a little bit would would be a great idea. But he finishes off the tiger. Backs out. I don't know if he has six sense, but I'm guessing not. Yeah, he doesn't have six sense on this tank. Gets hit by the AMX. Wiggles around his tank to maybe be able to bounce something. This is a quite good spot for a tank destroyer because enemies will not be able to spot you 90% of the time. But yeah. So a standoff. He has a comet and eyes on his left, so I would I would rather think that the comet should spot now. That the comet should go where the bridge is and try to give some spots out there. Though With that kind of position he would need the support of the eyes. This eyes would have to go with him because if those two tank if those two heavy tanks would come around that corner uh, yeah, Eric wouldn't be able to support him while two heavy tanks could have ripped him apart because a comet is nowhere near capable of dealing uh, with battling it out with two tier seven heavy tanks. On the other side we see IS and the KV-1S trying to find the other IS and maybe the SU-85. A little bit of a standstill in the game. Let's try to speed this up. Oh, IS is there, but we don't care. No, they are low on life, so it, it can be a little bit risky. Uh, this is falling back. Oh. There we go. A little bit undecisive. And he's overextending himself at the moment. Lucky bounce. But he misses his shot. Comet finishes off the T150. Ouch. That was the IS. God damn it, you're lucky. This tank should be dead, like, at the start of the battle almost. You bounce too many shells. Drive on. The ice tries to hit again. You can see the AMX and the eyes on the other flank completely annihilated those two tanks. But they were low on life. The KV-1S and the eyes were low on life. Those two guys that he has with himself, the, they are quite good on life, but still. I think that's a little bit too remote. You're not gonna get any spots because you're way behind bushes. Can we see how much enemies have life? Yeah, only the IS is one hit away from death. So basically, again, waiting for something to happen. Oh! Enemy armor is damaged. Nice snapshot on the ISS side. 600 damage inflicted. He already is at 3000 damage almost. He lacks just 30 damage to, to get that. And with the gold dub on this tank, I found out that actually I used AP ammo. It's not like I only used gold. I tried not to use gold at all towards the end. Rather only for tanks that I knew I will never ever penetrate. And normally use HE ammo and AP ammo. The IS is coming up this hill. That one bounced. 
Again, a little bit too rushed. I know it's stressful because that guy can inflict 400 damage on you with one hit, but you have to take the time to aim. This gun is nowhere near the word accurate. I guess the gold has... Eric has a camo net on this, so that helps out his already good camo rating on this tank, honestly. This has a very good camo rating. But again, stand still. Something's capping. The smart thing to do is not, not going to the capture at the moment. There's only one guy on the capture. You have eyes right in front of you. And you have a body in a comet that can easily go and spot everything. Derek is just checking out what I shot actually. Giving giving points to his pinpoints to his teammates to try to spot something on the capture. But I'm personally not afraid of our encounter capture most of the time because three minutes is way more than enough to deal with one or two tanks and move forward. So if there's the AMX gets hit for a beastly 682 damage. Now Eric side scrapes at least tries to hide behind this little you know. Oh the SCU-85 came to the capture and the IS so yeah both. Oh my god what the comet is doing. Comet isn't the best player in their team now, isn't he? That was a lucky hit. With that kind of aiming circle, he probably should have missed. Comet completely dipped, he's going forward. Well, from one point of view, he can do that. Because Comet is fast enough to flank around the IS. And circle strafe him. But you can see there was two tanks, not one tank, and he got himself killed. The IS, I don't know if he even provided any kind of support, I don't know what kind of stats that guy has, we'll see in the end game plates. Eric is now moving forward, he's guessing the AMX repositioned himself. The AMX run away from here, he's only at 5 shells left. But that's way more than enough that he needs. Again took a little bit of a snapshot, kills the AMX M4, now moves forward, there's only two tanks left, both are at 100 life. I would personally drop the gold shells now, I would load normal HE shells because there's no way you will not kill someone with a normal shell with that kind of life. Even via splash it's, it's enough to inflict tremendous damage. Does it, how is that he, that blocks his view range? Oh, the IS doesn't have the top gun. That's interesting. No, he has the top gun. So how come he inflicted 100 damage? Probably he loaded HE. He probably loaded HE. Oh god, the noob. And as I said, Eric is derping a little bit with... ...using gold ammo. At this moment when he completely didn't need to. And he blows up the SE-100. So, that's it for the game, let's look at the end place for this. So here we have the end place for this game, the first played we can see Ice Tank uh, Top Gun 2272 experience without the daily double, without anything, that's the pure experience. And 69,000 credits, so quite a decent score I have to say. And yeah, that's it for this plate, let's go to the second. On the second plate we can see that uh, Eric was top in his, uh, in his team, 1515 damage, uh, experience, 400, again, 4830 damage and 6 kills, beating anything in his team by a mile. And the enemy team also, the only thing that came close to him in the enemy team are from what I can see is the SU-85 actually had a beast game, that's a poor guy. The IS also had 2,605 damage, so they played a very good game, both, both of those guys, and they had better players overall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 people were above 1,000 damage. Still, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. Eric was the, the difference uh, between the, loss, uh, the win and the loss for his team. Uh, the second guy on his team, the Comet, was, 
yeah, he played pretty decently, 1.5 thousand damage with a combat, that's, that's a quite good score. The IS, I'm guessing, didn't do jack shit. Yeah, the IS did 400 damage, so he probably hit only one. I, I, I thought so that he's not helping out the Comet a lot. So let's look at the third plate. At the third plate, we can see 15 shots out, 11 penetrating hits, with 12 direct hits, meaning he only didn't penetrate once, and that was the shot on the IS. And yeah, he rushed a lot of shots, honestly, but. Still, it was acceptable. It still like paid off in the long run. Potential damage received 2,000. So yeah, as I said, that tank should be dead. Like in the start of the battle, you were amazingly lucky with that. Enemies damage eight. Enemies destroyed six. Damage upon detecting. That's weird. Uh, 413 uh, base defense points. <laughs> so yeah, and 69,000 uh, profit minus 90,000 for ammunition. Meaning minus 23,000. For me personally, you, sh you could have used HE a lot of a lot of those times in the game, but yeah, you just didn't. You just went all well all out, all out with the derp with the golds. But that's your own uh, decision. I hope you guys uh, liked the video and enjoy the game. And yeah, that's that's it for today. I'll see you guys on the battlefield next time. See ya.